And the skies rained missiles. And the ground burned to ash. And the seas boiled. And people turned into shadows. Cześć, witam was wszystkich bardzo serdecznie Z tej strony Hubert I wsiadamy do naszego cudownego automobilu w grze Metro Exodus Ostatnio jak oglądaliście To zaatakowała nas grupa bandytów No i musimy teraz lecieć po cysternę z paliwem No właśnie, Baron mówi no właśnie, no i teraz będą, teraz będziemy mieli niezłą jadkę. Niekoniecznie jadę tam w takim stanie jak teraz, bo powinienem sobie wytworzyć trochę amunicji do snajperki. To też zapomniałem uczynić. No ale liczę na to, że trochę też sprytem uda mi się ee, przeżyć. No, jechać dokładnie? A. No. Liczę na to. Mam nadzieję, że się uda. A jak nie, to będziemy kombinować. Mamy cholerną burzę piaskową. Cholera. Koniecznie. Małe karabinki są ciekawe. Dobra. Za to, że do mnie strzelałeś. Jakbyś mnie nie spotkał i nie strzelał, to byś nie zginął. Może. Ale to mówię może. No i dobra. Punkt kontrolny mamy wyczyszczony. Niekoniecznie z takim efektem, jakbym chciał. Już nie chciałem tego robić na, tak na głośno. Myślę, że to będzie ciekawy sposób na podejście tam do nich Bo oni będą tutaj mało się spodziewać nas W tym tutaj akurat tej burzy piaskowej Aczkolwiek tak czy siak muszę zanim wyruszę Muszę zrobić sobie amunicji trochę do snajperki Bo jednak będę potrzebować jej 
Wydawało mi się, że no właśnie, nie zrobię amunicji tutaj w tym miejscu. Ale co mogę zrobić, to na pewno e, leczenie. Bo może być ciężko, dlatego będę musiał wsiąść tak czy siak w samochód i wyruszyć w dalszą drogę. E, teoretycznie mógłbym zahaczyć o, o lotnisko, ale... Kurczę, nie wydaje mi się, żeby to było mi na tyle mocno potrzebne. Cholera, nie pani szednie zużyłem też tam. Dobra. Hmm? Może polecimy? Nie. Jest zepsuty. Nie dokładnie musimy jechać. Cały czas prosto. Wszystkowa się skończyła. No i przed nami jest ta oto wielka platforma. A tutaj. Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Duel and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Ram. Let's go. We'll, we'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not. They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Um. Chciał tu wejść jakoś. Nie wejdę. Who's right about the locals? Here, this place. They're just kids. They have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So a great? Well, let's do this. No. Jazda. All right. I'll raise it and you get through. O, trochę jeszcze. Dobra. Jestem w środku. Great. Uh, shit. See you up there. No use. Nobody go, nobody fool. We send you all the here. You suck. Better go home, find some food, make sled, more use that way. You said right, completely. Very right. Nobody. Nobody. Shut up, son. Holy fool, no, no, 
knows what happened here all the time. He's dead! Enemy attack! I found Buddy! How awful! He's dead! Dad, don't shoot! Don't Please care. don't shoot! Fuck! Holy flame! Kurczy byk. Po cholerą się odzywał. Ale spudłowałem typa. Zostały. Jak wrzucałem w tego, to nóż gdzieś mi tu spieprzył. Hmm. Właśnie, teraz gdzie jest ten nóż? No trudno, już go nie znajdę najwidoczniej. A, on tutaj, to, a ten pies tam nie zostanie. Bo póki nie wyjdzie, to on mi nie grozi. Tego na prosie nie zabiłem. Kadełko zgaśmy. Arkę też. No idziemy dalej. Connects the gate and the top of the tower. 
How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Hmm. The I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plant big time. Put the gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. To idziemy chyba tam do niego. Dobra, ja pójdę sam. Żyję! Ja pierdzielę. Jak coś nie wypali, będę miał zajebistą drogę. Nie mogę. Cholera, nie chciałem, żeby ją zabił, ale... Nie wiem, jak się mam w tej sytuacji postawić. Nie jestem ciekaw, co on ma do powiedzenia. Ale nie chciałbym, żeby oni, żeby oni ją zabili. Znowu jestem między młotem a kowadłem. Żadną interakcję. Did you fucking see that? The fucking whore. Look, 
It's one of those new lines. Come to lick the boss heels. They did Dusty and the boys in, and now think the boss is gonna let them off the hook. Yeah! <laughs> Keep on dreaming. What's the hold up? I'm almost done. I'm going now. Show that you're alive! Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Walter, Jvigi. You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time! <laughs> oh, you shit. A different reception. <laughs> Alter your way. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. I find it weird they're not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. <laughs> but let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyor to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyor, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. Dobra. Kurde. Ale mnie wystraszyła. Co teraz mam I'll zrobić? catch him and open the door for you. Hold on. Ale to by nie była jakaś podpucha. Oleram. 
Leś mnie położył za szybką. Ale teraz już przynajmniej wiem, co mnie czeka, to się przygotuję teraz na to. Hold on. Teraz wiem. O nie, o nie. Mamy problem. Nie mam też leczenia. Trochę spalili. O cholera. Kurde, spadła. Nie. Jest, żyje. Wow! Ała! Ana! Dostał. Uu. Jak zwykle żona z pomocą uratowała dupę. You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Ooh. Bardzo, bardzo, bardzo pewna siebie. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. Co? Oh, you're back, my love. I was so worried. Oni obydwoje zginęli? Serio? Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain to. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help you lead their people to freedom, beat another monster. The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Co 
dobra. Dowiedzieliśmy się co nieco. To teraz. No chyba Aurora ruszyła dalej. Oh. Oj, 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 oj. Damn coughing. We've left those sands long ago. And it still persists. What does Christ even smoke? It's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. No, nie dziwię się. I don't interrupt, guys, but you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Czy ktoś ubra? Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. No, ja wiem, że ci jest miło. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. A pije się. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagined she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though, I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot, build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two, a boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us, Wooden houses on the shore. The sun will wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there, even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this. 
and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. No, posłuchaliśmy bardzo ciekawej opowieści naszej ukochanej żony. To mnie nie tu. Wiecie co? Niestety już przyszedł czas. Trzeba zrobić szybki zapis. Dalej pójdziemy już w kolejnym odcinku, na który Was już zapraszam. Dziękuję Wam bardzo serdecznie, moi kochani, za obejrzenie tego filmu. Pamiętajcie, subskrybujcie mój kanał, lajkujcie fanpage, zostawiajcie łapki pod filmikami. To wszystko na dziś. Pozdrawiam Was bardzo serdecznie. Trzymajcie się na razie. I cześć.